March 22nd, 214 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright's Attorney, Justice for All, my friends. We're smack dab in the middle of the trial. We have somehow prolonged this thanks to Edgeworth's help. Uh, we're gonna bring in the BZ, so let's see what she's got to say. Dude, I can't believe that Adrian, no way, not cool, and collected Adrian Andrews. Oh, sorry, I read that hella wrong. Not cool and collected Adrian Andrews. Wow, I read that hella, hella weird. She's your manager. It would have been very easy for you to pull this off. For her to pull this off, that is. The only person who had easy access to the knife you used at dinner was, well, her. So after the ceremony during the break, huh? Yeah, makes the most sense. I was sleeping like a log the entire time, bro. See? She could have also easily planted that blood-covered pin in your hakama. Hmm. Because she was the one that came up to wake me up, huh? Then, dude, you're saying it was really her, bro? Yes, she is the real killer. She was the one who murdered Juan Corrida. But why, bro? I thought she was buds with Juan. She has her own agenda. Her own agenda? What are you talking about, bro? I'm sorry, you'll just have to see by the time this trial is over. It'll be alright. I'll get you acquitted by the end of today. Give me a verdict that's refreshing like a spring breeze, bro. Okay, Mr. Lyrodeed? Phoenix? You think her motive is related to Celeste Impact's missing suicide note, right? Yes. Ms. Andrews depended on Ms. Impact for her strength and will to live. Yeah, we've established that already. But then Ms. Impact suddenly killed herself. It sounds like she left a suicide note and the person thought to have hidden it. Is Juan Corrida. The victim of the, this murder. And that's why I think that Ms. Andrews got close to Mr. Corrida. All to get the suicide note back. That sounds plausible. But one thing bothers me. Um, what? Who was it that first told us about their relationship? Better stated, Mr. Andrews' codependency with regards to Ms. Impax. Who told us about Andrews' codependency? Edgeworth did. It was Edgeworth. It looks like he's still the one in command of this ship. Don't let your guard down yet. Yeah, for real though, he's the one that told us about that. The fact that he's our opponent in this trial, I, I mean, last episode I was very much feeling like we were a team trying to figure out the truth here, and I feel like that's probably going to be the case for the rest of this case. Let's see if that's the case. In case. Court will now reconvene, now that Mr. Edgeworth... Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you please, if I could read today would be just good. The prosecution calls the witness subpoenaed by this court. Miss Adrian Andrews, the person who discovered the crime in Qu Mr. Juan Carita's room. Alright, here we go, baby. Here we go, still spinning that card. What is your occupation? I am the manager of the defendant in this case, Mr. Matt Ungard. I see. Now then. Before we begin, Your Honor, I have one request. Uh, yes, sure. What is it? I'm sure everyone in this room is wondering the same thing, and would love to find out more about my relationship with the victim. After all, it was the topic of a certain weekly magazine recently. Oh, uh, no, I mean, I have no idea what you mean. I've never even heard of Gossip Land. <laughs> If the judge was ever a prosecution witness, he'd do all my work for me, because it's a fucking tart cake. Anyway, I was wondering if you would could please tell us your relationship to the victim. Yes, I was seeing Mr. Corita. I was also aware of the rivalry that existed between Matt and Juan. But this was a private matter between Juan and myself. Hmm. So it was a fry and bait matter. Or was that bait and fry? Reminds me of fishing. <laughs> this fucking guy. But I... But I didn't kill him. No one has accused you of that. I've got a feeling someone will soon. You're damn right there will be somebody. I think we all understand your relationship with the victim now, Ms. Andrews. Very well then. Witness, please testify to the court about what happened when you discovered the murder that had taken place. Alright, here we go. What she did when she found the body. Here we go. It was time for the show to start, so I went to get Matt from his room. After that, I went to Juan's room. And there was his dead body. I... I was in shock. <gasps> look at that shocked look on her face. What I saw was, naturally, the exact same scene as in the crime scene photo. I 
felt as though I was about to faint, so I poured myself a glass of juice. <laughs> she poured the juice after the fact, huh? She didn't have it in her hand already. You poured yourself a glass of juice? Yes, sadly, I didn't remember not to touch things at the scene of the crime. And I disturbed the crime scene by moving this one thing. And... And that is when the fingerprints on the wine glass were made, Your Honor. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Phoenix, she is one cool and collected customer, and she has the brains to match. Yes, I know. In order to catch a person like her, you have to avoid head-on confrontations. You should disrupt her pace. Disrupt her pace? She's the type of woman who is easily thrown off by things inconsistent with her thinking, so you have to attack when she least expects it. The instant you let up on your offense is the instant this trial is over. Understand? Oh, I understand, baby. Going on the all-out offensive. Let's get it cracking, baby. So, it's time for the show to start, huh? Let's see what you got to say about Dad. Remember, I am already about to die. My life bar is empty as fuck. And what was Mr. Ungar doing at the time? He was taking a nap. Okay. That we were certain of. He was worn out from his mini performance as the Nickel Samurai during the ceremony. Hmm, Mr. Ungar did say he was taking a nap. Then I guess you could say it could not have been taken out of his room. Yes? Excuse me? It? What are you... Uh-oh. Right. I thought years of school would have... I'm, I'm fucking up Edgeworth's voice today. I don't want to do the deep voice. My throat kind of hurts. Sorry. Right. I thought years of school would have taught you how to construct a sentence. If you can't make a sensible sentence with a subject, then I'll make one for you. Watch. Did you, Ms. Andrews, remove Mr. Ungar's knife from his room? No. Hmm. Subject, verb, object, right? Did you skip basic grammar? The witness may continue. After that, I went to Juan's room. Okay, tell me why. And why did you do that? As a friendly gesture, Juan was to make an appearance with the other heroes. So the show was supposed to be a show of friendship, huh? Press it. Is that the only reason? I beg your pardon? What are you implying? You had a certain goal in mind when you started to get close to him, correct? So perhaps you had a more personal matter to discuss with the victim. Anything? Sorry, but I didn't have any such intentions in mind at that time. I can't get her to talk without a strong piece of evidence, I guess. May we continue now? Witness, what did you see when you got into his, to his room? Across that dead body, though. You were in shock? What? Was I not supposed to be? Miss Andrews is a very calculating person, and despite how close they were, I doubt she had romantic feelings for Mr. Karita. Anyone randomly stumbling upon a dead body would be in shock, dum dum. And you can't seriously expect that a young beauty like her would not be shocked. Somehow, I don't think beauty has anything to do with being shocked or not, homie. Hmm, I see. Okay, nothing there. So far, only that last line had something to really maybe go back to, but let's make sure we get everything out first. This is the photo you're referring to, correct? Indeed it is. Yes, the one with the knife lodged in his chest. And the guitar case was like this too? Oh, sorry, it's me. And the guitar case was like this too? Yes, it was open and empty, of course. And then, what did you do next? Witness. Yeah, yeah, you felt you were gonna faint, poured some juice. Why the fuck would anyone do that? Juice? Yes, there was a bottle of tomato juice on the table, so I helped myself. But you didn't drink any of it, did you? Huh? There were no lip marks left on this wine glass to suggest that anyone drank from it. I... I wasn't feeling terribly great, so I set the glass down without drinking it. Ms. Andrews, I would like to confirm with you one more time. When you discovered the dead body of Juan Carita, you were in great shock. And that's when you poured yourself the glass of juice, correct? And what of it? My mind really was a complete blank at the time. Your mind was a complete blank. I didn't think that was possible for you. <laughs> Aren't you rude today? I was so dazed that I made one careless mistake. That one thing. What one thing? Um, never mind. It's no big deal. What? 
What was she starting to say just now? Press further. What the fuck was that one thing? Don't fucking play games with me. Ms. Andrews, I'm convinced that, as you said, you made a mistake at the scene of the crime. Uh-huh. What I really want to know is what this mistake was. Hmm, actually, so would I. I, I'm sorry, it's just, it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, did you, did you feel up on him while he was dead through, you, you wanted to see how big it was? Is that what it was? When I, when I set the glass down on the dresser, I accidentally knocked the flower vase over. Oh. Okay. So you say. Fl flower vase. Are you talking about the one on the floor in the crime photo? Indeed. <sighs> Sorry, I got a big yawn there. This mess of glass shards. It was originally on top of the dresser, but when I bumped into it with my elbow, it fell onto the guitar case. Why did you withhold such an important piece of information? I'm sorry. I thought that since the crime scene was already in disarray, that people would simply assume the vase was just another part of the mess. It looks like yet another fact has come to light here. Please add this and anything else you have to reveal to your, have to reveal to your testimony. I'm sorry, but I have nothing more to add. I didn't touch anything else. Hmm. Questionable. Questionable. All right. So you knocked over the flower vase. Pressing it. What kind of flower vase was it? Why does that matter? It was a glass vase, and it was fairly big and heavy. I thought I would try to take Juan's pulse, so I set the glass, and I was holding down on the dresser. Set the glass as one, and that's when my elbow accidentally hit the vase. That's odd. I thought she was always in total control of herself. That's what she would like people to think. Always be mindful of the gap between the perception and the reality. It doesn't sound like there's any glaring contradictions or ten uh, contradictions in her testimony just now. I warned you earlier that she would not crack so easily. The only way to make her is to keep on the offensive and not let up. The only way you're going to catch her is with some very strong, decisive evidence. I have to find something. I just have to, for Maya's sake. All right, well, the only piece of thing that had anything that we got was after that I went to Juan's room. Let me pull, let me press this one again. I want to get all the details out of it again. Why did you go to his room? Friendly gesture. Juan is about to make an appearance with the other heroes. Press further again. Is that the only reason? I beg your pardon, what are you implying? You had a certain goal in mind when you started to get close to him, correct? So perhaps you had a more personal matter to discuss with the victim. Sorry, but I didn't have any such intentions in mind at the time. Can't let her get it. Okay, so maybe continue. All right. So something about why she would even go into the room. I'm probably going to get a game over right now because I'm probably going to present something wrong. So let's save it so we don't have to go through all that dialogue again. Not like we've really gone through that much. But the less dialogue i got to go through again, the better. And I don't think we're in a point where we're going to... Somebody was telling, somebody in the comments told me that there's like a, a point at which if I save it, I'll be stuck in like a loop and be stuck forever. I don't think that's this point, so I think I'm okay right now. Uh, no, we don't need that. Would it just be the, the magazine clipping? Or... What else do we have again? We got the guitar case, the wire glass, the crime photo. The button, the report, the other report. Um... Reason to go talk with. Uh, what would it be? Picture taken in the hallway right after the murder? Oh, yeah. Forget about that one. Got that in the last episode. Um, maybe I'll just present the, this and see what happens. Objection! The witness's statement is clear. Ah, it's not faulty. God damn it. I'm going to have to restart right now. Well, then. Be right back. Oh, wait. I'm not. Not quite game over yet. Um, Alright. Well, then in that case, let's just throw one more thing out there and see if I fail. Because I would like to know... Let's just throw one more thing out there. If I fail, then I can restart. Um, let's throw the... Uh, maybe the attempted suicide report at him? Okay. At her? Whatever. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction. No, okay, fine. Fuck it. Alright. Alright, I'll have to think about it for a minute. Give me a minute. Maybe I have to present a person. Maybe I have to present the the chick that you know the one that she loves or you know her, her her manager or whatever i'll get to that in a second though let me get back to this point hold on 
Maybe we have to present something here on this one since it's different. She was the one who knocked over the flower vase where it fell onto the guitar case. Fell onto the guitar case sounds a little questionable. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click the plus button, not the A button. Um, hmm. Do we have anything that contradicts that? That doesn't contradict anything about the guitar. What about the guitar case itself? Empty. There's some water, but only on top of the lid. Oh! So... Wait. There's water on top of the lid? But that would mean... Hold on. If there's water on top of the lid... In the picture, it's open, though, right? Um... Where's the picture? The picture, it's open. So the water... It's open? Okay. Th actually, okay. So now, th I think I see a contradiction. Then. Because if the case is open, then... If the case is open here, that's where all the glass and the water would be in there, or at least some of it, right? If it, especially if it fell on top of the guitar case. So the vase either didn't break at that time. I'm, let me present this. I'm going to present it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to present the, the photo. Yeah, okay, I did it, guys. Woo! I was actually sitting there for quite, quite a few minutes trying to figure that out. I gave up on that other statement, by the way. Um, if that wasn't obvious. Anyway, you testified that you knocked the flower vase over. Co is this correct? Yes. And you are sure it fell into the guitar case? Onto the guitar case. I... Is there some problem with that, what I said? It's not some problem. It's a major problem, you biatch! It's true that the top of the guitar case was wet with water. However, that's exactly what is so strange. Ms. Andrews... You testified that the vase fell onto the guitar case. However, if that was true, the case should have gotten wet on the inside, not the outside. Get wrecked. All right, so that makes sense because the guitar case is open in the picture, but it's wet on top. That actually makes sense. Th that's very true. Furthermore, there is one other strange thing about this guitar case. Uh, and what is that? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. Oh yeah? What you got here, Phoenix? The remains of the vase are scattered on the floor. And what is and what is wrong with that? If the guitar case was open when the vase fell, the glass shard should be inside, not outside, especially if it fell on the case. Aw oh, yeah. You miss forgot your details, BZ. Ah. What is your point, right? That the case was closed at the time that the vase was knocked over? Is that all? Objection. No, think back to what Ms. Andrews testified to. She said that other than the vase, she didn't touch anything else. True. That means she had to open the case, right? Why did she open the case? What was in there? Was there something in there? Anyway, ugh. Yes, that's right. She did implicitly say that she didn't touch the guitar case. Okay, she didn't she said she didn't touch anything else. What? But this whole matter with the guitar case is a dead end. The bright red guitar was found at the studio. It has no bearing on this case at all. Yeah, but what, what if there was something else in the case? That may very well may be. However, an empty guitar case does seem to have no relation to this case. Hmm, it seems that there are, is no deeper meaning to the guitar case. Well, Mr. Wright, do you think we need to hear more details about the guitar case? Hell yeah, we do. Otherwise, we have nothing. The empty guitar case. I believe this is a crucial piece of the puzzle, Your Honor. Heh, <laughs> I can't believe anyone would reach for straws like this, but it is you. I can't believe I'm doing this either. You ain't got nothing else to go on, bro. All right, I'll follow along for now. Ms. Andrews, please testify to the court about the guitar case. Yes, Your Honor. All right, tell us about why you touched it, because clearly you did something to it. Tell us what and why. I don't remember too clearly because I was a bit dazed. I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the vase over. It's not a big deal though, right? The case was empty after all. As for why I opened the case, even I don't know. Huh. Was that card laying on top of the case? That's one thing I want to know. Hmm, it looks like this really wasn't a very important point. This was, this was wastefulness. This wastefulness is such a familiar feeling by now that it's almost comforting. Ugh. Anyway, I'll go ahead and start the cross-examination if you guys will let me. 
Huh. Using any way to change the topic. A convenient escape for a weak man. Fuck off, Edgeworth. Don't be such a dick. Alright, anyway, let's start pressing this beezy some mo. Pressing her mo, press some mo. Alright. During your testimony just now, did you remember those events clearly in your mind? Hmm. Well, you see. Are you sure you are the one who opened the guitar case? She's. She's waiting for someone to tell her if she should answer or not. Her code appendices is coming through, huh? Well, Mrs. Andrews? Y yes, it, it was me. Huh. Is somebody in her ear right now telling her what to say? That'd be interesting. Okay, anyway. Let's keep it going. So, you open the guitar case then? Yes, well, maybe. Mm, why did you open the guitar case? Huh? Mr. Karita's dead body was right there in front of you, wasn't it? I would think that the first thing you would do is call for help, not open a guitar case. Objection! As the witness has said multiple times when she found the dead body, she was dazed. Hmm. Maybe I... Maybe I was curious to know if the bright red guitar was alright or not. I thought maybe the criminal took it. Oh, yeah. Why would she care about the bright red guitar? But getting back on topic... Yeah, getting back on topic. Anyways, as it were. Was it really empty? Tell me the truth. I was just wondering if maybe when you opened the case, the guitar was still inside. Objection! That's a good question. How long have you been a lawyer, Mr. Wright? Have a little professionalism. The bright red guitar was found at the studio, but found later. See, somebody could have taken it back to the studio. Somebody who maybe, I don't know, did the murder? Anyways, these trials would be over at half the time if you would just pay attention. Yes, pay more attention, Mr. Wright. Sorry. God. Teaming up on me, bunch of dickbags. Anyway. Why don't you know? Was that because you were shocked and dazed at discovering the victim's body? Yes, that was probably it. Huh. I'm not gonna get anywhere if I continue pressing her like this. The only way to make her talk is with evidence. I guess I should give it a try. Come on, Phoenix. We can't afford to let up on her now. I wasn't planning on letting up, but... She's at her weakest now, so this is our chance. Yeah, we had a weapon to hit her with. I'm sure a weapon is hiding somewhere in the court record, waiting for waiting to be found. A weapon, huh? Is that supposed to be a clue? Um, let's see what I got. A weapon. The camera? No. The knife? What about the knife? We haven't heard about the knife. But we don't have any proof that she had used the knife at all. This is starting to look more and more like she probably didn't kill Karita, but she definitely did something when she went into the room. Maybe she did it under orders. Who knows? Um, we need a weapon. Or maybe the weapon is the knife. I don't know. Bears the victim's blood on guard's fingerprints and the grip gatewaters engraved. Hmm. The photo. Let me read her statements, all of them again. Let me get. To, let me get back to the beginning. Okay, she was clearly. She was. She was two days to remember anything clearly. Must have opened the guitar case after she knocked the vase over. It's not a big deal, right? The case was empty after all. Okay. As for why I opened the case, even I don't know. Huh. Okay. Is there anything about the guitar case? What if there... It, it doesn't have her fingerprints on it, though. So maybe she didn't open it. Okay, let's go with that. Apparently I'm right again. I'm getting lucky today. There is no way you were the one who opened the guitar case. Why would you say that? It's elementary, my dear. My dear Watson. Because the only fingerprints on this guitar case are those of the victim. Okay, see, I, I was right. Okay, that makes sense, actually. Ah! 
She did say she didn't touch anything else, and she would, she probably is. So there is somebody t feeding her the fucking lies. Anyway, what is it, Miss Andrews? You shouldn't assume that I must have left fingerprints just because I touched the case. What do you mean? What if I were to tell you that I was wearing gloves at the time? Gloves? But why would you be wearing gloves at the time? It was the night of the award ceremony, so of course I dressed up for the occasion. Yes, now I remember. I'm almost sure I was wearing a pair of thin, of thin gloves. Hmm, I see. Well, Mr. Wright, it seems the witness was wearing gloves at the scene of the crime. That's strange. You were wearing gloves. Isn't that a little strange? Why is that strange? Do you have something that would prove I was not wearing gloves at the time? Whoa, do I? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, the fingerprints. Yeah, fuck you, fingerprints on the glass, hell yeah. I have your proof right here, bitch, the wine glass. I was trying to think if there was anything that had our fingerprints on it. That's right, the wine glass does. Get wrecked, bitch. The wine glass? You left your fingerprints very clearly on this wine glass, dumbeezy. Uh-oh. Ah. Even if you took your gloves off when you poured yourself this glass of juice, wouldn't you think it was just a little strange? That you put your gloves back on just to open the guitar case? Ah! Uh-oh. There goes her glasses. But she's got a spare pair. <laughs> that was funny. Here we go. Getting to the bottom of this shit now. Order, order, order! Looks like you hit the nail on the head this time. What do you mean? I believe that guitar case plays a very important role here. But it's just an empty case. Something tells me it wasn't empty. And whatever was in there, Ms. Uh, Andrews took it out for somebody. Or she didn't take it out, somebody else did. But either way, there was somebody else in in this scenario that we don't know about. Either that or it's somebody we know about and don't know that's involved. Either way, I wonder if it really was empty though. But the guitar, the bright red guitar was at the studio. Phoenix, drop all of your presumptions. What was in the guitar case was not the bright red guitar. Didn't I say that already? Come on, Phoenix. You don't mean it was a bright white guitar. Wait, that, that, that's not right. You dumbass. It was just not a guitar. Hmm, I admit it would be unnatural for someone to do that. So the witness was not wearing gloves, despite the fact that not that on the case... Uh-oh. Your Honor, this is obviously the defense's usual misdirection tactic at work. Steer the court towards an unrelated topic and lull us all into this, into his misguided... Oh, getting wrecked, Edgeworth. No, 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 Your Honor. Please recall that Ms. Andrews had testified that the vase fell onto the guitar case, which means that the case was closed when the crime took place. This BZ. However, it is wide open in this photo of the crime scene. I am sure this guitar case has some relation to the murder. Oh yeah. If you're so sure, right, then I'm sure you could somehow substantiate your outrageous claim, correct? Please, enlighten us as to why that guitar case has anything at all to do with this murder. Uh... Can you do that, Mr. Wright? Um, well, uh... Let's suppose for a second that the bright red guitar was not the only thing that could have been in the case. The bright red guitar not being the only thing? Blasphemy! You don't mean to suggest that a bright black guitar... <laughs> These fucking idiots. So you intend to push your theory that the case was not empty. Is that it, right? I wouldn't say something I didn't intend to prove, bitch. Deflate that head of yours. You haven't proven anything yet. Now then, let's have it. What was inside this case at the time of the murder? That is a very good question. What the fudge is in the case? Um, good question. I don't know. At the time of the murder? Hmm. At the time of the murder. 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 I'm yawning again. Oh God, it's such a yawner today. I need to stop it. It's because I'm fucking exhausted. So I'm sorry if I seem exhausted. A photo of Juan Carita's murder scene. What was in the case, man? What was in there? Article. Would there be an article? Would the camera be in there? This wouldn't be in there either. 
That's not in there, and definitely not that. Hmm. I don't know why. It wouldn't be the knife. Um. Hmm. 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 I don't. I got nothing right now, guys. I got nothing. I don't even know why I'm looking at all these things, man. been in there. I got nothing, man. What the fuck would be in there? I, I, I'm, at, I'm literally at a loss. I'm like, well, I don't even know what to try and present. Huh. 